Hi, I'm Sarathi and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom role and assign that role to a user in the Informatica Administrator. So this video will help us create a custom role so that we can assign the privileges yeah, that are required uh, and that are to be customized at different levels and we can then associate the role same role to multiple users so that we need not assign individual privileges to the users at the user level which makes the administration easier so once I log into the Informatica administrator under the security tab you see another tab called roles so click on the roles you'll see that there are system defined roles there are certain custom roles that are already defined when power center is installed so i would like to create my own custom role so i would go to the actions tab and say create role and for the role you can give any name which would be easy for you to identify the role and its corresponding privileges so i've given the name as demo and description is for demo and privileges here it shows me all the services that are currently available um, in this domain which means with this installation of power center what are all the different kinds of services there are reporting service there is a power exchange service there's data integration this analyst this domain and all the services what I would like to do is I would like to go with the repository service and in the repository service I'll select certain custom privileges like a folder and um, let's say I would give the design objects source and targets but I'm not giving any privileges to runtime objects or the monitor to execute uh, these options and maybe I can give privileges on the global objects so these are uh, any custom defined privileges for example this is a role which has privileges to create a folder then design objects then to access and delete sources and targets then it has permissions on the global objects but it does not have any permission on the tools like designer workflow manager workflow monitor etc so this is a kind of a custom role so I would say ok now the role gets created it is trying to add the role demo to this particular uh, uh, informatica domain and when the role is added you would see the role here in the custom roles so I see that uh, it has the name demo and the description and these are the particular set of privileges so it, I did not create any privileges for this role on any of these services but I created on the repository service with these set of privileges now if I have to assign this role to a particular user I'll go to the user I'll expand the user let's say this is a user demo 2 now I would go to his privileges tab and under the privileges tab when I click edit I have a roles tab so instead of assigning individual privileges uh, to this user on different services I can assign the roles as well so because uh, this role is created for a repository service what I would do is I would try to assign role on this repository service there is already a system defined role administrator uh, defined for this user now what I would do is I would uncheck this and I would uncheck all these custom roles and I would select my custom role now what was the reason for me to uncheck the administrator and other custom roles so I did not want this user to have all the privileges or administrator role has all the privileges so I have unchecked the administrator and I did not want it to be an administrator developer or operator or repository folder administrator so I have unchecked those and checked only the custom role that I have created so similarly if you have created more custom roles you could add more than one such custom role to the same user but when you are doing so just make sure that there are no conflicting privileges across these roles which means let's say there is another custom role demo 2 so uh, in demo 2 custom role in this particular demo I have a demo role I've given permission to this uh, role on design objects let's say sources and targets so in another custom role if you are saying do not give permissions on sources and targets it will come to uh, this role as well it will come to this user as well so there are two roles for this user demo and demo 2 one has privileges on the uh, folder objects like sources and targets and another does not have privileges on the sources and target but when you are accessing the user will finally have the privileges and sources and targets because the highest level of um, the roles and privileges are considered because when I am checking privileges for a particular user 
I'll check against all its roles and individual privileges. Now in any of the roles, if I have given privilege to access a particular object, it will have uh, that access to the object, even though other roles have conflicting privileges and says do not give the object. Give the object. So this causes confusion on what are the roles associated or what are the privileges associated to this role and the user. So that is the reason why I unchecked all the other roles to make sure that there are no conflicts so if you create one more role um, demo 3 with no conflicts with demo for example there are no conflicting privileges then you can add that custom role here so after I added the custom role here I'll click on OK and then this role gets added to this particular user now when I go to the roles I'll see that the demo is here and when I see the overview I see that this is the uh, role and this is the description and these are the privileges so when I was speaking about conflicting privileges let's say this role has create and edit and delete on design objects now if you create another role with no access to create edit and delete and assign it to the same user the user will still have privileges created and delete on design objects because at least one of the roles granted the access so in order to avoid the confusion, make sure when you are assigning custom roles, make sure that there are no conflicting privileges across these custom roles. So in this video, we have seen how to create a custom role and assign the role to a user informatic administrator and what, what care has to be taken when there are conflicting privileges in different roles being assigned to the same user. We would love to hear the feedback from you. You can write to us on support videos at informatica.com or you could follow us on Twitter at InfoSupport. Thank you.